I'm uh, Michael Studinger and I'm the uh, project scientist uh, for Operation Icebridge. In the particular upcoming campaign we will focus on measuring ice surface elevations over Antarctica with a uh, laser scanner that we have mounted on the DC-8 aircraft and we will also look into measuring uh, the uh, surface elevation and surface characteristics of the sea ice that surrounds Antarctica and the uh, Southern Ocean. Since we have this opportunity with a big aircraft that can carry many different instruments, we uh, not only measure the um, ice surface elevation, but we have also ice penetrating radar instruments on the aircraft that allow us to actually look through the ice, find out how thick the ice is over the interior of Antarctica. This is something we need to know in great detail uh, in order to develop better um, ice sheet models that will allow us to characterize uh, how much uh, sea level will rise in the next decades. About the time we started flying in Antarctica last year in October, ISAT stopped collecting data. The follow-up mission ISAT-2 will be launched in 2015. In order to fill this gap, NASA has uh, launched Operation Icebridge. We are looking back through uh, 10 years of uh, weather history to come up with a certain estimate of how many flights, depending on the uh, availability of crew and other things we can possibly uh, accomplish in a certain time window. And if we um, accomplish 90%, we would be um, really very satisfied.